So do you believe that what you spent, mm -hmm. invested in that provincial growth fund was worthwhile, despite the Auditor General saying a lot of this wasn't properly accounted for? Uh, sorry, the Auditor General couldn't justify that statement. He couldn't back it up with any facts. Have you not looked at what he said? That's well, what he was told. But he, he said a lot of the minutes of the discussions about where the money oh, no, was the, going. The minutes don't matter. How much money was consigned to it and did it get there and is it being built? We're building the biggest muscle farm in the world. We built a massive muscle factory in uh, Portakee. We did so much around this country that will be there 50 and 100 years from now. That's the difference. And my challenge to the auditor is, no, no, we had the highly respectable businessmen running this and they can account for every darn cent. How's that for a government project? So you you will stand by the fact that that PGF was worthwhile and it was a good investment and that the money was accounted for? Of course it would. And let me tell you this. I've sat here and watched all these politicians arguing about a 29, 30 billion light rail program for Auckland, which will never get off the ground, while we spent 3 billion across the whole country, from Invercargill to Kaitaia, and you've got a whole lot of urban popul uh, um, people calling it a slush fund. They're arrogant sods. Guess who keeps the country going? It's the provinces that do that, and infrastructure is critical, and one party understood it, and that's why we had the Provincial Growth Fund, and we're proud of it.